A Galaxy Note with a 6.3 inch display gets rumored. Facebook 2.0 improves the experience on Android. And Google isn't building any Windows Phone apps. I'm Jaime Rivera. Unclear why Google is so harsh to some and nice to others. And this is Pocket Now Daily. Just when we thought that Samsung's January 8th event at CES Las Vegas was going to be all about the Galaxy S4, well, rumors have it that Samsung's not really ready to build the indestructible display of the Galaxy S4 or a Galaxy Note 7-inch display that we thought about also. And apparently they're building a new 6.3-inch display device, and it just begs you to wonder if this is going to be a phone or a tablet, or if this is just going to be another phablet you're going to look funny with. So stay tuned for the rumors because this is really going to get interesting. Facebook has just launched a long overdue upgrade to their Android application that they brought to iOS months ago. And the cool thing is that it now runs on native code as opposed to how it ran before. Apparently it's supposed to be faster, but I've been testing it for the last couple of minutes and honestly it doesn't seem to be any better. But just cut them some slack, they're trying to do something, make sure you upgrade the application, it's obviously free. And if you remember the Yoda phone device that we talked about months ago that sports two screens being an e-ink display at the back, well apparently the phone is now a reality. It's slated the ship by mid-2013, and even though it's got looks that only a mother could love, the form factor actually brings some compelling specs for today's standards. Not sure what will happen next year, so stay tuned for probably CES 2013 and we could probably see the phone. And yes, the rumors were true. Just a couple of hours after we published Pocket Now Daily yesterday, Google gave a nice pat in the back to Apple in their thermonuclear war and gave them Google Maps for iOS. Now, the coolest thing is that, well, it's actually much better than what we get in Android, at least when it comes to the UI. It looks much better. It looks much cleaner, so make sure you watch Brandon's video on all the tips and tricks that you can do with Google Maps on iOS. It doesn't work on the iPad just yet, but so far the application is really cool, so make sure you download it before somebody changes their mind. And finally, for the harsh news of the day, after Google showed the world how nice they can be to Apple with Maps on iOS, they also showed how harsh they can be to Microsoft. Their product management director just came on record to state that they're not building any Windows Phone applications because, well, Windows Phone doesn't sell that well, according to him. So that leads me to the question of the day. What do you think about Google and their services after they pretty much ditched Microsoft and Windows Phone? And please, show Google that you're not just a handful of Windows Phone users. Leave your rants in the comments down below. And if you want an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and tablet world, make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks for watching and stay tuned tomorrow as we go through some nice Android 4.1 Jelly Bean upgrades.